All right, if you're an SEO agency, I just built you an AI agent tool that will save you thousands of hours and help provide a better service to your clients by giving you actionable trend information that you can use to target keywords, target content. All you have to do is copy this exactly. So let me show you so you can use this for your business. All right, so here's the output. Here's the end game of what this produces. This is in Slack. I have it set up to release this port, uh, report in Slack for whatever industry you enter into it. So if you have multiple business owners, multiple industries, you just type in what you wanna know and it'll give you this full real-time output, which is really nice. So this is one we did for an accident lawyer. So it's only gonna pull uh, niche focused 2025 trends to help with SEO and client acquisition. So the main purpose of all this output is to help your clients acquire more customers through uh, SEO. So at first it does SEO long tail keywords that are trending that you can use for content or you can use to target. Then it will provide a summary of relevant trending news articles, uh, which is really nice. You can see what kind of what's winning out there in the industry and in the space. Uh, it'll provide trending Reddit posts, which is real time information from user generated content, which is really nice. So what real people are actually talking about that you can help solve with your content, with your SEO, with your uh, what you're producing to drive them back to your client's uh, website. Uh, and again, here's popular Quora questions. Uh, again, user generated content, top five friendly uh, content ideas for, for content. So this is really nice. So this is set up to push this to Slack. Um, I've done several of these. This was for cosmetic dentistry, kind of the same thing. Um, that's really, really actionable, real-time information that you don't have to go out and scrape the internet. This will do it for you. So here is the tool. This is built in NAN. So basically, you, it starts with a chat prompt. You type in whatever industry specifically. The more specific, the better. And then it goes to the AI agent, communicates uh, open AI uh, chat, and Perplexity will communicate and uh, do the workflow, basically scraping the internet, scraping social media, scraping Reddit, Quora, the, uh, the user-generated content sites to give you the best output. And then that output is gonna go over to Slack. Um, which is nice. So if you have a, a team uh, you want to set this, send this to, this is really nice. But how you generate it, you can go in here and type a message, or you can basically go in and do it from the front end, which is from you can set this up and get the actual link and work from the link if you want and communicate that way. Just know when you have when you have this connected to Slack, it's not gonna give you the message here. It's gonna bring it over to Slack. So it probably is just easier to do it inside of uh, inside of the chat message here, which is right here. You just type the industry in um, and you can do this once a week, whatever you wanna do. So how you build this out is in a, in NNN, uh, you would basically do this plus sign over here uh, and then you would do the chat, tr chat message trigger. So right here is chat trigger, you would select that and it'll give you this chat trigger, right? Um, so that's the starting point. So basically just telling this workflow starts when you enter a chat. And then there's gonna be a plus sign here because uh, none of this is gonna exist yet. You hit that plus sign and then what you wanna search for next is the AI agent, which is right here and that'll bring you to this. So this is kind of uh, the most important part of this. The special sauce is this system message. So basically you're giving the AI agent the parameters to work within basically what you want the output to be. And then it's gonna use open AI and perplexity to scrape the internet according to these parameters. Uh, so this is the important part. This is the prompt. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. Just type in, if you're watching this on YouTube, just type in prompt below and I will, I will message you this prompt. I'll reply with this prompt so you don't have to figure out what it is, but this is the whole special sauce that gives you that output. Um, that's really cool. Uh, and then, once you have this here, you will see a plus sign here. If I disconnect that, you'll see I can do a plus sign here and then you just do open AI. Select open AI, it'll bring up this and connect it automatically. Uh, and then when we go in here, you do have to connect your open AI account. So if you do this open docs, it'll tell you how to do this, but basically go into open AI, you search for API keys. You create an API key to connect here and you label it. You can label it like N8N or whatever to keep track of it. Uh, and then that'll be connected and then you're done with that step. 
The next step is to click this plus sign and select perplexity, which we already have it done, but I'll go through it so you can kind of see. So we hit perplexity. Boom, here it is. It's already connected, so I'll show you what this looks like. Again, you have to go in, connect your API key. There is documents that so will show you how to do that if you need to. Again, go into perplexity account, search for API keys and select it, name it N8N. The key with this uh, is you want to uh, you want to select the model and this sonar is good. You're not really doing deep research, deep reasoning. So sonar is fine for this prompt. The main thing that you're using perplexity for is to scrape user generated content, which OpenAI can't do yet. So it can scrape Reddit. And this is what makes this prompt really, really powerful. Um, so you're going to select a model and then make sure that this text says this chat input, right? Make sure that that is connected there. Um, which it'll ask you when you start running this each execution, it'll pop and you can literally drag and drop that over, but I already have it done. So, uh, it's not going to prompt me to do that because it'll show, it'll show this over here, this input, and you can just drag this in and it'll show right here. Um, Slack's the same way you would do the plus sign here, search for Slack. Um, well, the key with Slack is you want to click send, send message. So let me just show you that really fast. Mm -hmm. Message here. So just make sure you're hitting send message and then it'll look like this, uh, channel. You would, you would select your channel. Once your Slack account is connected, you would create your own channel, uh, a new channel or select an existing channel. I just have mine selected to general, uh, and then message text, text is going to be the output, right? So you can select that. So it, and that, that is drag and drop as well. So if we just do a test here, all right, so that ran through. So if we click in, I'll show you kind of since it pulled out the output. So this is what I'm talking about. You, you can drag and you can type this in, but it's just easier if you just drag and drop this in and then it's telling it, okay, I want the output to send to Slack. Uh, same thing with perplexity, um, channel input. So that'll show here and you can drag and drop it, or you can just do this verbatim. It just has to make sure that that is all set up correctly. So it's pulling from the right places to produce this output here, here, which is also going to, uh, your Slack channel. And then, so that is built out. So you can do that for every single industry that you're working with and have it, have it done weekly, whatever you want to do. But then what I recommend doing is using a tool like Arvo to create the content around this information which is going to make your life a lot easier as well. And set and again, save you thousands more hours. So you can take these long tail keywords and you can create content blog articles that are SEO optimized with Arvo, which is really nice. So you can go into Arvo. There's a free trial. You can try this out below, but you can click the SEO article and just type in those keywords. You don't even have to do a title. Uh, and then it'll create an input to create content around. Uh, so here's some ideas. This is, personal injury lawyer, revenue based financing insurance, and then you can click generate article. Uh, and then it'll generate the article. Here's an idea of a uh, article. Uh, just get this is like for a dentistry in Chicago, but it creates a fully SEO optimized article based on your client. So it's giving it's fully SEO optimized H2 H3 titles on, on based on the keywords, excerpts, internal links that will link to your clients web pages external links, which will link the trusted sources, alt text. So you can set up, you can set this up for your individual clients. You can brand this, you can create your own knowledge base for each client, and then you can upload their website, PDFs, training guides, their YouTube channel, or you can do plain text. So when it's creating content, it's going to be even more brand specific and you're not going to even know AI is doing this. Uh, and it's going to help your clients get a lot more traffic. Uh, and a lot more sales and you're going to seem like you're, you're the best agency in the world when you're using these tools just to make your life a lot easier and make it more efficient and better. You know, it's going to make it better. So you can create these blog articles, you can create automation. So this is doing, you can do a new campaign and you can have this do auto blogs daily, weekly, whatever you want to do. Uh, and you can set up your own feed as well that it'll create these articles around based on keywords, news feed, RSS feed, YouTube channel feed. So it'll pull, that's where it's going to pull the keywords and then it's going to create the articles 
and then you can set up an integration that'll automatically publish it on your client's website, on social media. So all that is built in. Uh, so that's what you're using this tool for is to generate that information and then use Arvo to create the content and publish it to your client's website. It's going to be real time. It's trending. So it's going to get a lot more traffic because it is trending information. It's what people are looking for. So it's going to help you move all the heck of a lot faster than before. Uh, but that is it. Hopefully that helps you out. There are a link below to Arvo. If you want this prompt type prompt below, I will share it to you, but yeah, let me know what you think of this. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's going to help you move a lot faster and give you real time information uh, a lot faster. I'll be back soon with some more workflows for you. Uh, have an amazing rest of your day.